Here's another thing that you're not supposed to say when you're a Mormon. Mormons love to believe that where they live, the church is exceptional. It's just in these other places that the church is problematic. So a lot of the members when I was living in France would say like, oh, well, that's, the church isn't like that. It's just like the Americans. They're a little bit, woo. When you're in America, they all like to blame Utah. When the missionaries came to France, they would tell me, somebody who would occasionally go like out tracting with them, I was 19 at the time, and they were telling me all the time how the French members were just really weird and how the church was weird in France because the French members were out of their effing mind because to convert somebody in m most of the main European countries, they kind of had to be a little bit cuckoo per for Cocoa Puffs to even want to stop and talk to you about religion on the street, that that was not a normal thing. So all of the members, they all believe that the members in the other areas, in the other geographical regions, they're the problem. But the prophet of the Mormon church is American. It is an American religion by definition. That is where it was created. It was created off of obvious like other doctrines and other ideas that were really popular at the time of Joseph Smith. He didn't come up with very much originally. He was just kind of copying, pasting, making a mosaic of the religious ideas that were popular in his region at the time. The geographical argument is one I will never understand because trying to defend your church by saying, well, it's only bad and we only get lots of psychopaths out of that religion in areas where there's a high concentration of members and the church has more influence and power. It's only in those regions that we have huge problems. And it's like, well, maybe then, maybe logically, it's the church causing those problems. Maybe, maybe not, probably.